uh, now let us do the simulation of d flip flop so the drawback of sr flip flop is when s and r is equal to 1 1 then q and q bar both are actually coming uh, one actually so it is actually invalid so in order to avoid this input combination so we can have modified uh, this one which is actually called as a d flip flop where actually uh, we are avoiding s and r actually one by having one not gate between s and r we are using one not gate so that s and r will be always opposite so i'll copy this full diagram and i'll do it in the select this diagram and paste it in the here so now instead of having separate this output this input so i will drag here so place one not gate so go to all groups all families type not you will get this and uh, control r use control r to invert it close this so now if s is equal to 1 r is equal to 0 if r is equal to 1 s is equal to 0 so this i'll change the label as d flip flop no so i'll change this one as d means data so now simulate this is directly obtained uh, uh, in the go to place component and directly you can get a d underscore flip flop so this flip flop you can use directly click ok and place here and for d directly use a digital interactive input and for clock you can connect this and two outputs are q and q bar so this is actually directly you can select from the library this is actually inside diagram we have nand gate so this is this part is actually sr flip flop using nand gate to avoid s and r both inputs as one one so s and r are always opposite if you insert not get here so now if i run this i should get uh, this output okay now if d is one if clock is there anyway clock is there okay here also if clock is there if data is one if date if clock is one clock pulse is one so if data is there same data is coming here if data is zero if data is zero you to click here if data is zero then q changes to zero here also okay so this uh, key i think uh, you can change this key no uh, toggling key you can change this to d letter only you can press keyboard letter a uh, uh, deep key button if you click uh, it will change to 0 or 1 so here also I'll change the same thing instead of space bar okay now run this I will press key button in the keyboard so here see if D is 1 it is coming uh, data see that means what your Q is actually following D so Q is following your data, whatever data you are sending. See, I am sending 0, so 0 is coming. 1, 1 is coming, 0. This is actually directly obtained from uh, from the library D flip flop. Inside this, this is the implementation using NAND gate. This part is uh, SR flip flop. S and R between that uh, not gate is inserted. So S is renamed as D. Okay. So this is the two table. Uh, if the clock is 0, instead of this, you know. Uh, if I give you uh, zero, always zero, that is uh, one more. This digital interactive type only you put here, made this one as zero. That means uh, no changes will take place. Even if you change this D, if uh, this is zero, output will not change. So that is if clock pulses are zero, no change will take place. Whenever clock pulse is there, then if the D is changed, say D is changed to one. 
so it is changed q is changed to 1 if d is changed to 0 q is changed this is about d flip flop